Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, we'll be discussing certain details about the distinction that we have between commission and the term discount. So when we understand the commission and the discount, there is certain difference that we have to observe or that we observe on a daily basis. Commission as well as discount, both are form of income itself. However, there is a certain distinction that we can vary it or that we can state whenever we have to discuss about commission as a part and discount as an other part of it. So let's understand what basic discussion we can have or rather what are the basic distinctions that we have between these two terms. We'll be jotting down these points. There will be certain pointers that will make you understand as it to what exactly is the difference between the term commission and how it is different from the term discount. Let's figure it out. So the first point of discussion that we have mentioned here between commission and discount is this. Commission is the kind of remuneration that is provided either to the employee or to the agent who is providing his services. On the other hand, discount is the kind of reduction that is allowed for the amount that is payable or rather that is payable by some other party to us. Now the term we discussed about when we spoke about the income factor. This income factor is both from the person who is receiving the services or rather when we can talk about it is the kind of income that is receivable on the part of the person who is providing the services and in terms of the person who is payable or is supposed to pay that amount. So when we speak about both being a form of income, commission can be as an income because of the services that is provided by him. So he receives certain income which is a part of commission and discount is a kind of income for the amount that is payable. So for example, if Mr. A is supposed to pay 10,000 to Mr. B and he has allowed a discount of 1,000 that means instead of paying 10,000 now Mr. A will have to pay only 9,000 there so that is the kind of income for him or rather we can talk about a notional income whereby the amount that is supposed to go out doesn't go out completely but it is just a marginal amount that is taken out which is a discount or a rebate so this is the form of income that we were talking about let's talk about some different points related to both these two now the second point of discussion that we have when it comes to commission and discount we can talk about commission being a part of a service or rather it is in connection with the transactions like sales purchase and other business transactions which are related to your specific business itself and it is based on the percentage value that means what percentage can be given as a part of commission depending on what kind of transaction you are doing or rather the amount of transaction is also involved so the amount of transaction will ideally decide the kind of percentage that can be availed as commission here. On the other hand, discount is the kind of allowance that is provided for settlement of debts. That means any long term liability which has been settled before its due date on such a situation or rather in such a situation, this kind of term can be used and this kind of service can be provided to the preferred or the specific person who is related to payable the amount. So when we speak about discount and commission, these are the two things that we have to discuss about. There are a few more things that will be jotting down here. Let's put it through and mark the closure of it. Now the last point that we have to discuss about both these topics or rather both these terms is that commission is actually the amount or rather we can talk about commission is something which is a form of income as an expense. So when it comes to accounting terms or recording this term in accounting books of entries, then in such situation when the commission is received, it is a form of income. However, if you're paying up commission as a service or rather for the service that has been provided to you by someone else, then in such a situation, it is marked as an expense here on the list price or on the retail price then the amount of deduction that is allowed there is known as trade discount this trade discount in the accounting books is not shown separately however it is shown as a deduction from the cost of purchase for example the purchase has been done for 10 lakh rupees and you have given a discount of 10,000 here. So the amount of total purchase will be 9,90,000 itself and you're supposed to receive only that much of amount and not the exact 10 lakh here because you have provided a discount. So that is a trade discount that we have mentioned here. 
But when this trade discount is supposed to be recorded in the books of account, it is not shown separately at all. It is just deducted from the cost of purchase and the actual cost of purchase will have a major effect on it. That means 10 lakh cost of purchase will be moved down to 9 lakh 90 thousand. So this is what we have to discuss about trade discount. Now let's highlight that point. So this is the basic distinction that we can talk about when it comes to commission and discount. These are the three pointers that you can mention or rather you can understand whenever you have to necessarily mention about these two terms itself. So whenever it is commission or a discount, these are the distinctions that we can have for discussion or rather that we can talk about whenever it comes to discussion. So I hope this gave you a clarity about the distinction that we have to discuss about. So thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and keep subscribing to Ikeda.